let's take a look at tabs. So in our previous lesson, we looked at windows and in this one, we're gonna look at tabs. In order to take a look at tabs, we need to open them. So Command Shift T will open up a new tab. And as you can see, there's the plus icon over here, which denotes that you can create a new tab. If you were to click on it, we create a new tab and click on it again, you create another tab and we'll do so one more to create four tabs. Note that you have four tabs running in a window terminal under this title and this active process. In my case, the name is Williams K for my title for my window and each tab then reflects what the title is as well as the tabs that I've opened. Now, if you jump back to general, you'll note that we have this checkbox here from our previous lesson. You can use uh, the numbers one through nine to switch between tabs. So we'll go back to profiles, we'll hit tabs. This tab that I'm currently in is tab number four. So if I hit command three, I'll switch back to tab three. Just note that this is an easy way to jump between tabs if you needed to, if you're running different processes or scripts and you wanted to just like quickly jump to a specific tab. All right, let's just close a few tabs here. We're going to close two tabs. I'm going to have two tabs open. You'll notice that the tab title versus the window title is slightly different. So there's a symbol here and it's called a tilde. It looks like this. So if I was to type PWD, you could see that this text here, users Williams K, is represented by this symbol here, the tilde. So let's just change directories. I'm going to CD to my uh, desktop. And then you will note that the desktop is, is showed here as the root directory that I'm currently in. So the folder that I'm in right now, and this is the title, right? Williams K, which is designated by this title here. And it's being displayed in my tab. And also that I'm using this active process ZSH and this tilde if I do a PWD, as you can see, kind of represents the same text. From time to time, you'll see devs just kind of switch out. They'll be like CD tilde, and that will take you back to your root directory. And as you can see, that's represented here by this symbol here, and they both look the same. Okay, so we'll jump back over to the tabs area here. And if I uncheck the path, so now that tilde is missing, and that's the path that we were talking about, and the path is then replaced by the actual title, which we talked about here. So let's say I jump back to Windows and I change the title to Terminal, which is the actual default. And then I jump back to Tab. You will see that the tabs now remove the duplication Williams K. Now I did that on purpose uh, just to lead up to this video because I wanted to show you that it is important to figure out what you want to name your window and your tabs so that you get the correct information being displayed to tabs when you want to cycle through them. As you can see, like tabs can like have various things running, different processes, different scripts, and it's useful for when you have multiple things going on and you want to check in. And that would actually lead us into window groups too. So we'll cover that at a later date. Just note that the title does matter and it could be kind of confusing if you see this duplication and you don't understand why. So check your window title and also check that, you know, your working directory is also set as your title. So you notice that up here in the window, it is also set to windows, or sorry, to terminal. All right, we'll just check that back on for now, bring it back up. And as you can see, my Williams K, which is the name that I chose for the title under window is removed. And I'm just shown here the uh, working path and I'm also showing the active process. Okay, so now that we know that, we're going to uncheck the active process, and as you guessed it, it removes the active process, and all you can see is just the tilde, which is designated as your path. Um, you can have this minimalistic kind of title up here, so you only see the tilde. I'm going to check that back on, and if you had any arguments, those will be displayed as well. Interesting here is the TTY name. So basically that just displays the terminal name. So each terminal emulation has a name. And as you can see here, this instance is 001. 
and this one here is 000. So the name starts at zero and it goes up by one. So when you're at one, you're actually at two terminals. And when you're at three, you're at zero two, which is actually, as you can see here, three terminals. Zero four, you're at zero three, which is four terminals. And you can just close them real quickly by just hitting X if you'd like, and it brings them down. There's a command called TTY that does the same thing, kind of shows you what the terminal name is here. And you can check here just to make sure it's corresponding and it's exactly the same. It shows you that this is terminal name 000 in this instance. So I'm going to clear this and that looks good. And I'm going to uncheck this option and we're back down to where we were minus the uh, window name of Williams K. Okay, this last part is pretty self-explanatory. So um, I'll just leave this alone. You can check that out at your leisure. If you had a custom tab title, you could display this on its own if you needed to. So um, this is very useful if you had a bunch of processes and you wanted to have a unique custom title based on whatever tab you had open. So uh, the current document will always display whatever it is that is selected. That's that. And I kind of leave this one alone too. It's just an active indicator process. So let's say you were doing something and the terminal was just running silently in the background. This will help show um, what is going on and what process is running and what the state is. So I'll leave this to be the default for you guys. And we'll just, you know, you can do some more research around this if you're interested. Okay, that wraps it up for tabs. We're just going to close these and bring it down to a single window, uh, Command Shift T to get rid of that tab. And just for consistency, we're gonna go jump back to window here and we're gonna rename this Williams K. You don't have to do this, but just uh, for you know, moving forward, I'm going to just kind of have this set up like this. All right, well, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.